Hi, Mark from Whole Latte Love. Very excited to have Michael Hauck here today. He's come from Germany. He's with Profitech. Uh, we're going to talk about the Pro 700. Now, Michael, you're responsible for the design and engineering of this machine. That's correct, Mark. Yeah, I'm. I'm doing like deciding and the finishing or decide how we have to want to have the things done. Yeah. Now, this is a dual boiler machine. Yeah. Uh, PID. So you've got really precise temperature control. For both boilers. For both, for both boilers. And now, one of the things when I first started uh, using this machine is I just love the display up front when you go to pull a shot. Uh, it gives you a timer in that. Yeah, that's something very nice, which you have find on commercial machines. And we, we like the idea mm -hmm. in, 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 in counting the shot that you know and have uh, continuous the same quality in the cup. Yeah. Very nice. And then when, when it's not doing that, when the machine's just idle, it's going to alternate between showing you the temperature of the brew boiler and the temperature of the steam boiler, Yeah, which is very nice. And then you can, from that same display, you can set those to whatever yeah, you want. Yeah, quite easy. Push both buttons, and, and then you go entering the, the menu, the yeah, T1 and T2, you can change. OK. Yeah. OK. Um, now, let's talk about the outside of the machine. Um, now, first, like, you, you, you've really done everything you can to make these really, really solid, long-lasting machines. I mean, just, you know, the first example, uh, the wands. Yeah. Which are not plated, right? Yeah, they are stainless steel. Full stainless steel yeah. throughout. And the problem with the plated wands is, you, after a while, you clean those. And During time, yeah, if you use one of those, if you clean them often, the chrome can go off. It's gonna yeah, eventually it, come it, off a bit. Yeah, that's why we use stainless steel, which is also something which is used in the most of commercial machines, which is also a sign for quality. Yeah. yeah. And then you've got the, uh, the the valves themselves, they're sprung valves. Yeah. They got more reliable over time. Yeah, so you can't over drill them. You can't over crank them and yeah. start sacrificing valve seats and, and that yeah. kind of thing. And we shortly have our new valves. They are squared to give it a nicer look to the machine, like Profitech has uh, all squared um, cutouts on the grid, also on the cup heater, just to give a complete image of the product. So really, the, the aesthetics of the machine yeah. are complemented by the, by the valves themselves, and, and these uh, come, come out far enough so there's no knocking yeah, <laughs> of the, the machine the uh, with, with the wands. Um, and then around the outside, I mean, a lot of machines will just, they, you know, they put the panels on and just slice them. Now we've got all nicely wrapped and finished yeah, uh, that, corners, nothing sharp at all. No. That's difficult to produce because you have the bendings and then you have to weld and polish afterwards. So it's a, a much more work or craftsmanship which goes into this body work of the Pro 700. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, but in the end, it gives you a different product. Yeah, I, I mean, you really just notice all the touches all throughout. I mean, right even to the internals of the drip tray, which is not something a lot of people really look at, but you even inside the drip tray, you go the extra mile. Tell me about that. Yeah, like uh, when the drip tray is getting welded, there's a special gas which put into the welding mm -hmm. to avoid the oxidation by the welding. So that means if you take it out, you don't, you have a clean surface. And the, the problem being when you don't do that, if you're, say, you get some acid in there, you're decalcifying your machine, you're going to start corroding some of those exposed yeah, it welds. Can, it can happen, yeah. So another touch where you've really gone for the quality. Now, yeah. now let's talk about inside. Mm -hmm. Again, dual boiler, uh, very large. How, how big is the steam boiler? It's two liter. Two liter. Stainless and, steel and boiler. And both, are sta both boilers stainless steel. Yeah. And 0.75, um, the coffee boiler. The on, the, boiler. on the brew boiler. And both have that really nice insulating jacket. Yeah. Which helps keep some heat inside, but also... For the parts, it's important. Like the parts, like solenoid valves, uh, other electrical components are not um, be heated or having be, being so close to the heat. Yeah, that's the idea. And that, now, when you open one of these up, the thing I notice right away is just how logically it's laid out, the amount of space that's in there. Um, I mean, like the Jakar boxes. Yeah. Tell me about why you located those where they are within the machine. To protect them away from the boiler, like we have a special sheet, mm -hmm. and they are placed all together on one piece. So if you want have to open the machine, you can remove those sheets and you have all the parts being so on one side and not finding them all around uh, on the machine. Okay. That's, um, yeah, we, we like to build machines like. Uh, also from the internal parts looking nice, not only they're looking for the outside part. Yeah, that's yeah. the idea behind Profitech. 
I mean, really, one of the easiest machines I would think to work on <laughs> that I've seen. Everything is very logical and in its place. Um, all the internal plumbing, uh, copper or the braided stainless, right? Yeah. And now this is a plumbable machine. Now, and you've even done something there to make the machine more reliable. What, tell me about that. Yeah, if you want to decide to use the machine as a direct water, you have to switch it to, um, to turn the valve. Mm -hmm. And it's a manual valve instead of using two solenoid valves to make the other direction. And we think it's the better system in, in, in the long run because what happens on a solenoid valve on scale or other particles which are in the water will once and causing stuck. problems. Yeah. yeah, and that's manual. You open and close it. Right. And that's, that's it, yeah. So a couple less points of failure by using that manual yeah. valve there. Yeah. And now up, up front, you've got, um, there's a couple rocker switches behind the drip tray. One, you can turn off the steam boiler yeah. completely. And then the other one is just to turn off the water sensing in the, yeah, in the reservoir. It's only for the floater, which is inside the water, water reservoir. You have to yeah, switch it off if you use the direct water. That's okay. it, yeah. And the shot counter, what is also nice on the machine, Yes. Like uh, if you prepare the coffee, you have the counter. Yeah. Right. Um, and then also inside, another thing that you notice is just, I mean, just from, from the base. I mean, a lot, of, a lot of other manufacturers will weld on that drip tray support. You've got one solid rail front to back on the yeah. machine. To make the machine solid. Yeah. Right. Also, what I like is uh, if you install the porta filter, you don't have a lot of movement of the complete machine because that is something which is also it need to be built solid to last right. longer. Yeah. Right. Right. Any, anything else about the machine uh, that, that people should know that? What we have changed on the Pro 700 shortly is that on the tray, if you take out the tray, we have a kind of stainless steel slides to prevent that when the any scratching of that rail. Yeah. So, so that's kind of yeah, some nice, yeah, small things, which makes a difference in the product. Oh, and another small thing is just that the the, the, the cup warming tray. Yeah. You can get all the cups up. Well, you don't have to take everything up. You're not taking one piece off to, to yeah. fill the machine with water. You can get everything off all at once. Yeah. Okay. So that's, that's the Profitech Pro 700. Michael, thank you very much for traveling all the way from Germany to, to tell us about the machine. Thank uh, you, Mark. It's absolutely gorgeous. One of our favorites. Thank you, Mark, that I could be here. Thanks. The number one source for everything coffee, wholelattelove.com.